are salt pools better than chlorine pools? Actually, salt pools are chlorine pools, and that's the first thing that you need to understand if you're thinking about adding salt water to your pool. It's not a chlorine alternative. All you're doing is changing the way that you're manufacturing the chlorine. Instead of going to the store and buying chlorine, you've added salt to your pool, and then you're going to use electrolysis to make chlorine from the salt. So are salt pools better? Well, that kind of depends on what you're looking for. If going and buying chlorine and putting it in the, the trunk of your car and driving it home is the bane of your existence, then you're going to love a salt water system. You buy the salt one time and then maybe top it up once per season, and then just use a, a chlorinator to generate the amount of chlorine that you need, so you never have to buy uh, chlorine again, in theory, although it's still helpful to have some around for periodic shocking during heavy use or heavy rains. Um, so a salt pool is better in that regard. It's easier to maintain in that you don't have to go and buy the chlorine, but you still have to test all the same variables. A uh, saltwater pool is not maintenance free in any way. It's the exact same as a chlorine pool in terms of what you have to maintain and how you balance it. Uh, the only difference is that if you're used to one type of chlorine and then you switch to salt water, you might have it, um, a situation where your pH is going high all the time. If that was different than what you're used to, well then you'll have to relearn your maintenance schedule for your pool because salt water Water systems are always going to be driving the pH high, being that the type of chlorine that salt water generates is a very high pH. Um, so salt water pools are not as good as chlorine pools for the reason that adding salt to the pool actually increases the rate of damage that your pool experiences. The, the form of damage comes from a result of an electromechanical process called galvanic corrosion, whereby dissimilar metals that are submerged into salt water solution will have an electrical current that travels between them. That process results in the weaker of those two metals deteriorating at an advanced rate. Uh, so if you have a saltwater system, you need to be aware that galvanic corrosion can be a problem and it's something that you should address by installing a sacrificial anode on your swimming pool system. If you found this information helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.